Well, hi. We want to put together a brief video to introduce you to the Magno family and our wines. I'm Scott Magno. I'm joined here this evening with my daughter Marion and our dashing husband, Andrew Pomerantz. Our families have enjoyed a lifelong passion for wine, food, and fun. The food and fun part, that came at birth. The wine part took a little longer to blossom, but it occurred when our families found themselves on the west coast of the United States. I moved to Napa in 2001, where I worked at several wineries in the valley, and finished at Napa Valley College working in the winery and viticulture department. Then in 2007, I moved up to Oregon, and we now produce a couple of Pinot Noirs, a couple of white wines, and a sweet dessert wine. Now our family roots run rather deep in the state here. My elder daughter Amanda married Evan Pullman, whose family traveled here in 1845, perhaps on the Oregon Trail. And Andrew's grandparents lived in Forest Grove, just outside of Portland. Honey? Cheers, Dad. You bet. Well, I just want to talk a little bit about how the Mackinac family ended up in Oregon. And it all started with my big sister, Amanda, when she moved to Portland in 1996 to attend Reed College. And my first visit here was in spring 1997. Uh, needless to say, I fell in love with Oregon. What a beautiful state. Uh, it's got a dramatic coastline, majestic mountains, uh, an artisan vibe, a bustling downtown in Portland, great coffee, and uh, vibrant rolling vineyards that, that change with uh, every season when you go down to for a visit. Uh, so I followed Amanda up here and two years later started attending Reed College in 1998. Uh, after I moved here, Amanda and I almost immediately started enjoying the wonderful and diverse wines of Oregon's Willamette Valley. Well, almost immediately after turning 21, of course. Geez, <laughs> silly goose. Oh my goodness. Oh. Well, Pinot Noir was on the family dinner table a lot in my lifetime, and we are very lucky that Oregon has a well-deserved reputation for producing, in my opinion, the world's most versatile and elegant wine grape. But it wasn't just wine that I fell in love with here. It was also another thing. Crab. And I'm not talking about my husband. <laughs> I'm talking about three-pound, sweet, succulent Dungeness crab straight from the Pacific Ocean and plopped onto my plate. Mm. Delicious. Ah, uh, that is really delicious, isn't it? It's fantastic. <laughs> but, I can't get enough of it. But what wine do you serve with it? And her Scott McIndoe's stage right with his low profile off the beaten trap white wine grape Melon de Burgoyne wine from Duver Vineyard in Yamhill mm -hmm. Carlton. What a great wine to serve with seafood. Hmm? One of our favorite things to do at McIndoe Family Cellars is to throw dinner parties. At these dinner parties, we're of course serving McIndoe Family Cellars wine, which includes Roussan, Pinot Noir, and Malone de Burgoyne, which as Marion just mentioned, pairs great with Dungeness Crab. The social aspect of wine makes it a very fun industry to be in, and we hope to share not only our wines, but the good times with friends and patrons of McIndoe Family Cellars. I hope you enjoy your visit to our website, and please check back often for updates to our wine selections and upcoming events. Thank you for your interest in McIndoe Family Cellars. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. From our family to yours.